Proton Pass Bitwarden. In today's day and age, internet security is of the utmost importance. Making sure that you've got the right software in the right place is essential. Today, we're going to have a look at both of these platforms and see which one you should actually be using. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's jump straight into Proton Pass. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is their security focus. So Proton Pass emphasizes end-to-end -end encryption and zero knowledge architecture, which ensures that your data is protected from any unauthorized access. Also, the intuitive design makes it really easy for anyone to manage their passwords without needing extensive technical knowledge. It also has seamless integrations with various third-party apps and services, really enhancing its versatility. So if you are using something and you'd like to integrate it with ProtonPass, then there's a good chance it'll be available. Also, it is available on multiple devices, including your desktop, your mobile phone, and even a web browser. It provides immediate notifications for any suspicious activities or any security breaches. They also offer fantastic customer support to help anyone troubleshoot and resolve issues efficiently. One of the other things that we need to talk about is Proton Pass's drawbacks. Now, um, while Proton is secure, it may lack some advanced security features found in some of the competitive software. Also, as a new player in the game, it might not have some of the same levels of brand recognition as some of the more established brands. Let us jump straight into Bitwarden now. So first of all, Bitwarden is open sourced. It allows for transparency and community driven security improvements. Open source software is amazing. It's also compatible with various devices, including your desktop, your browser, and even your mobile phone. It offers secure sharing options for families and teams, making it an ideal tool for collaborative environments. It also offers um, security with two-factor authentication to protect your vault. It helps update passwords automatically, ensuring that they remain strong and secure. Also, um, there is a free version available. It offers a basic version with some basic settings, making it accessible to anyone that is even on a budget. One or two of the drawbacks, however, is that um, with Bitwarden, with all of its super advanced features, um, the open source nature can be a little bit overwhelming for anyone that's kind of unfamiliar with more technical settings. So ultimately, the learning curve may be a little bit more steep. And then also, they have limited customer support. So there have been some reports that their customer support can be a bit slow to respond uh, to queries especially in their higher traffic time. So um, you may have some issues when dealing with their support team. So we've now put them head to head and we can see that they both have fantastic features as well as one or two drawbacks that should be taken into consideration. The key takeaway here really is to make sure that you are using both platforms, figuring out which one works in a real life scenario and then going with that one. If this was helpful, drop us a like, share it with a friend. We'll see you next time.